Yo, what's going on guys, JBH here, and today I am back in the Indy car where we are gonna be driving the Grand Prix of Indianapolis around the IMS road course. Now, my last race in the Indy car series was at the Barber Motorsports Park. I crashed out on like lap 15 or whatever. I got into a wreck with the AI. They were pretty crazy around there. So yeah, I'm hoping they're gonna be a little bit more compliant around this track. Now today I'm gonna be driving a Team Penske Chevrolet. The skin I'm using was actually used by Scott McLaughlin in the preseason. Now, Scott McLaughlin, for those that don't know, is an Australian supercar series driver that was offered uh, by Team Penske to run a couple races this year in the IndyCar series. I'm not sure if he's still going to do that with the race sort of schedule being all switched up and whatnot. I was hoping to see him in the IndyCar series because he is an absolute machine of a driver. Um, he races a lot of IndyCar on iRacing and does really well. Uh, and not to mention he showed up uh, a lot of the drivers in the IndyCar sort of preseason testing. But anyway, that's enough talk. I'm going to go jump into a quick qualifying session right now, set the grid, and then, yeah, we'll get underway shortly. Okay, so qualifying is done. Unfortunately, qualified all the way down the back. We are starting like 25th out of the 28 cars in this race, so we've got a lot of work to do. Now, this race is going to be 42 laps in length, which is around half of what it is in the real-life event. The difficulty, I think, is set to 100%, which is 10 below what I usually use. Uh, the AI seemed pretty quick around here, so I've had to drop that down a bit. Damage, as usual, is on full, so we've got to be careful not to hit the back of anyone, especially on this opening lap when the AI go crazy. Now, the weather is set to what it was in the real-life event last year, so I do expect some rain throughout this race. I have got it set to that, so I'm expecting uh, some squirrely moments as the rain comes down. It's also going to be interesting to see how the windscreen looks uh, with this mod, uh, with the rain coming down on it and the spray coming up. Yeah, without any further ado, we'll jump onto the grid and get this race underway. It is a rolling start, of course, in the IndyCar series. And, uh, yeah, who are we starting behind? It looks like Scott Dixon, PNC Bank... Ganassi entry. Alrighty, here we go. The IndyCar Grand Prix of Indianapolis on our Factor 2. Man, have I been excited for this one all week. Just get around these last couple corners. Cold tyres. And we are underway. Now the plan is to just let the AI go and do their own thing in Turn 1 because usually there is quite a lot of mayhem uh, in the real life races at Turn 1 around here. So let's just make it through here alright. Early on the brakes, avoid that big first curb. Oh, check up. Oh, yellow flags in the air. Oh, someone's gone. It's not gone well. Come on, Joseph. Stop looking behind. Whoa! Shoot. Okay, well, I don't know how, but somehow I managed to uh, avoid that. Oh, I just turned the volume down back then. And we have our first yellow flag. Wow. Four course yellow. That was insane. Oh, come on, Joseph. Keep it on the track. Alrighty, green flags back in the air. Back to full speed racing. We're up into eight because some of the AI decided to pit, which was pretty interesting. Oh, someone's had an issue there. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the strategy side of things because we're starting to get a little bit of look, some spots of rain on the aero screen. I was about to say windshield. It wouldn't be accurate. Rosing fist in front of us. Oh, yellow. Oh, come on. It's starting to get slippery now. The turbo in rain just does not cooperate. Side, come on. Now, one of the sort of major aspects about the IndyCar series is that you have two uh, compounds to choose from. You have the alternate tyres, which is the red compound, and you have the primaries, which is the black, black sidewall content. Uh, black right, I can't even English right now. It's so hard to concentrate at all. Um, however, the AI do not seem to be capable to use uh, of using the um, red sidewall compound, so the alternate, which is slightly faster. So we're going to stick with the primaries like they are. And the other thing is that the 
IndyCar series uses push to pass, or like curves or errors, whatever you want to call it. It's basically just a power boost. And um, yeah, but unfortunately, I don't think we have that on this mod, so I'm not using it. I mean, I may have it, but I have certainly got a button mapped for it. Anyway, it's starting to get seriously sketchy out here. Wait to see that spray. As soon as we see that spray coming up, then we'll pit. See, it's getting slippery. I'm just losing the age of times the car is in front. But we're in the top seven. I'm just going to let him have it because I have no pace. Time for wets, I reckon. Rain tires that front wing a little bit because it's going to understeer like hell, like it already is. So everything's set, fill a full up with gas because I really want to extend this stint out as long as we can. Plus, who knows if it's going to rain more or dry up. So, uh, also want to see how much we use these tyres up. There's my pit stall, there it is. Let's slid it. Oh well. Alright, come on, get me back out, get me back out. Let's go. Always forget it's the first line, not the second line. Oh, that's way too deep. Come on, pull it up. Jesus, I almost lost my front wing. Alright, now this is my first time driving in the rain on R Factor 2, so I have no idea what to expect. I mean, I have driven in the rain in the past, but not with this mod. it around everywhere. Wheel spin. Oh, hold on to it. And it oh, Jesus, it is so sketchy coming onto the main straight. Sort of, you sort of come back up onto the banking, but not really. I have actually driven here at once in real life. That was in a Pro Mazda car, though, or what used to be called Pro Mazda. It's now called Indy Pro 2000. And yeah, that last corner is not as easy as what it looks. And this chicane is just two massive curbs. Don't know how these guys do it in this category. On. Keep checking up to try and avoid hitting the back of them through that chicane. So just accelerate through it. Try and set this pass up somehow. Big 
Great move. Thing is, you can actually really dive up the inside there and stick it because then they have to deal with the aero wash coming onto the banking. But we're up into seventh again. Try and keep it this time. Stops raining, but let's see how it goes. Oh, Jesus. That was sketchy. Uh, hit that white line or something. and the guys in front just can't find a way past right now. Keep making stupid mistakes. Side for the lads. Woo! Got him. Ah, come on. All right, up into six. Ah, oh, you prick. 
I sort of squeezed him up on the curb there. That fault. I don't think we got any damage. Maybe a little bit. Ah, uh, no, no, no! Oh. oh my god, I knew I was going to do that. Oh, idiot. Absolute retard. Alright, well now we're back in 8th. I just keep making too many mistakes in this car. I don't know what it is, it's just so hard to stay consistent.
Oh no, 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 no. Bruh. You have got to be joking me. Oh my god, I can't believe I've just done that again. That's two races in a row now. Oh, my days. All right, well, I've just fenced it. Man, I am struggling with this car. I am really struggling with this car. Anyway, that's a wrap, guys. Um, yeah, ran out of talent. Got on the middle of that bloody curb, bottom down, and that was the end of it. Uh, yeah. All right, well, unfortunately, that's the end. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Oh, God damn it.